Hello, here in Pablo Spot, I'm George. Welcome back to this series on building reusable set of Terraform modules. And today, I will be making the necessary changes to create a reusable Terraform module for my main ECS resources. And so if this series and the content of this channel lines up with your interests, hit the subscribe button and join me in this journey of learning by doing. So, let's start coding. So let me start creating a new Git repository for my ECS Terraform module. And now I will cd to the new directory. And because I only need the ECS directory inside my source repository, I will run this Git command. And now I'm going to remove the Git cache on this local repository and then reinitialize Git on this project. Now I'm going to launch VS Code on this directory. All my Terraform code are sitting inside the ECS directory. So what I'm going to do is move all these files into the root directory and then delete the ECS directory. When I set this up originally, I have configured Nginx container to run as a proxy to the main WordPress container. And because I have load balancer that sits in front of my ECS infrastructure, having this Nginx component is an overkill. So what I will do as an initial step is to remove the Nginx container in my ECS setup. So on my main.tf, I'm going to head to the task definition resource block. And inside this block is a property called container definition. So what I'm going to do is get rid of all the components specific to Nginx container. And now that I only have WordPress inside my container definition, I need to update the host port property to allow my load balancer to talk directly to my WordPress container. And if I scroll a little bit up on this file, I have this dynamic block for the volume property on my task definition, which is used by the Nginx container. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And if I open my locals.tf, I also have a local parameter in here called volume mapping, which I don't need. So let me delete that as well. And now back to my main.tf. If I head to my ECS service block, I have this load balancer block that has a property called container name that has a reference to Nginx, which is no longer existing. So I have to replace that with WordPress. And with this change, my load balancer will now go directly to my WordPress container. And now I can start the usual steps that I need to perform to make this module reusable. The first obvious property that I need to change in here is the container definition inside my task definition resource. So I'm going to introduce a new variable for this container definition. And now back to my main.tf. This new variable is what I will use as the source of the container definition property inside my ECS task definition. This change will affect the load balancer property on my ECS service block. So let's go there. The container name and container port properties inside the load balancer block need to match the container name and host port inside the container definition. So what I will do is head to my locals.tf. I will add a local parameter that will hold the JSON decoded version of the container definition variable. The container definition variable when decoded is expected to be a list. So I will define a new local parameter that will hold the first element of this container definition. And now that I have the details of the first container in the definition, I can then extract the name of the container and the whole sport property. And now I'm going to head back to my main.tf and assign the values of the container name and port property on my load balancer using the local parameters that I've just set. And because the container definition block is no longer set on this module, I'm going to head to my data.tf and remove the parameter store data references that are no longer used. The next step is to head to my backend.tf and update the prefix for my workspace and remove the specific reference to WordPress. And then on the root of this repository, I'm going to create my git ignore file and add the Terraform cache directory. And then lastly, I'm going to delete the Telegram configuration file. And now I'm going to head to my VS Code terminal and validate my changes. My validation went through with no issues, so I'm going to stage and commit my changes to my local repository. And then I'm going to switch to my web browser and then access my GitHub account.
I'm going to create a new GitHub repository and use the same name as my local repository. And then scroll all the way down this page and then click create repository. And then I'm going to copy this section on the page, switch to my VS code and paste these commands. And now that I've synced up my new repository, I'm going to start running commands to create tag for release. And now let me head back to my browser, refresh this page, and then head to the releases section of this page. And then click the tags tab, and then select the tag that I just created. And then all the way to the right of this page, I'm going to click create release from tag. And then all the way down the bottom of this page, I'm going to click publish release. And now I'll head over to my Terraform account. And then click the registry tab right above this section of the page. I'm going to click publish module and then select the GitHub integration that I have existing. And then select the repository that I want to publish, which is this one and then click publish module. With my new private Terraform module, I can now update the ECS component on my existing ECS project to integrate with this module. So let me head to my terminal and switch to my GitHub repository for ECS and then launch my VS code from here. I need to make sure that I have the latest code locally. So I'll head to my VS code terminal and then run git pull. And then I'm going to create a branch for today's changes. And now back to my VS Code Explorer, the component that I'm changing here is the ECS directory. So let me expand this and then open my Telegram configuration file. I added a new variable called container definition in the module, which means I need to pass this as an input variable. What I will set as the value for this variable is the JSON encoded version of the container definition that I set inside the main.tf. So let me open that file and head to the ECS task definition block and copy the container definition block only for WordPress since I'm dropping Nginx from the setup. I need to update a few properties inside this container definition. Firstly, I will change the host port for my WordPress from port 8080 to 80. And the environment and secret properties here also need to be updated. This ECS module has dependency with the DB module. So if I scroll all the way up to the section for dependency, what I'm going to do is remove this skip outputs property inside the block and then map the output variables from my RDS Terraform module. The easiest way for me to know the output variables that I can use is to head to my web browser and then head to my private modules, open the module for RDS and then click the outputs tab right here. These are the variables that I need to extract. So let me head back to my VS code and on the container definition input variable, I'm going to first update the values for my environment variables. And then I will update the secrets property. In order for me to be able to run Terragrant plan on this module later on, I need to mock up the values of these variables. So back to the dependency block on this file. And now if I head back to my container definition on this file, I also need to change the setup of the log configuration, which is all the way down this part. Because this block no longer sits inside the Terraform module, I will need to change the AWS log group reference to a string that contains my ECS cluster name and ECS service. And the AWS logs region is also referencing a variable here for region, which I need to explicitly indicate. So let me change that. And I need to change the source property in this block to point to my Terraform private module. And now let me switch to my VS Code Explorer and start deleting all my TF files as well as my TF bars directory. And now let me switch to my VS Code terminal. 
I have now exported my AWS credentials, my default workspace, and my Telegram integration variable. And because I have made changes to how the Terraform workspace is created, I need to create this new workspace for my ECS. And to run Telegram plan on my ECS module, I'm going to cd to ECS and then run the plan. My Telegram plan looks good. So now let me clear this, go back to the root of my repository, and then I'm going to apply my entire infrastructure stack. My infrastructure stack has been stood up successfully. I can now verify if my WordPress application is still accessible after my changes to my ECS component. So let me switch to my browser and access my WordPress website. And that still works. And that's it for today. On the next episode, I will work on the load balancer Terraform module that needs to be moved to Terraform registry and also resolve any items that I might come across between today and the next episode. So stay tuned. In the meantime, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and send me some likes if you find this useful. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like the content of this channel. Until next time, and as always, keep learning and stay safe.